All right, so I'm gonna be going over how to get extremely lucky when you're playing online poker. Now, the second hand in this session was absolutely disgusting. It's probably gonna make you wanna throw up in your mouth because I bad beat somebody like to the extreme. Now, I'm gonna be breaking down some hands here in Ignition Poker, playing some one, two, no limit. And of course, if you're looking for any good online poker sites right now, I'll have some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. All right, so there's no doubt that there is a bit of luck when you're playing you know, poker, but you always want to be on the other end of it where, you know, you got bad beat and it was more of a skill thing because the better you play long-term, you know, the more you're going to win. That's just how the game is. Now, this first hand was pretty interesting because, you know, I had, uh, you know, the ace high flush draw. Unfortunately for me, this guy bet really big into the, uh, the turn, which kind of like put me at a decision. Do I want to call? I mean, he bet 30 bucks. That was actually a pretty, pretty good bet. I called him, but I think he immediately checked it on the river. He had pocket kings, and unfortunately, you know, we took a loss right there. Now, this is the hand, all right? And, you know, there's going to be another one after this, too, that I got extremely lucky on. But this was this was in, insanity. Like, this was so crazy. So, you know, started the session down about 50 bucks. Um, there was a re-raise here to, like, $18. And, I mean, I had five dues suited, right? You know, sometimes you play these type of hands and they do flop well. I mean, it's probably like one out of every five. You know what I mean? It's very low percentage wise. But, um, you know, I wanted to make a call here. Plus, I figured this other guy might have made a call too. So we could have gone three way with it and, uh, you know, maybe flopped some low cards, maybe some flush cards. I don't know. I was just trying to make something happen here. Anyways, we went heads up. Um, not exactly the greatest or the worst flop. We hit bottom pair with the flush draw. You know, um, there's a lot of hands we're behind on here, especially, you know, aces, ace king would be rough. Um, ace king would actually have been like the ideal hand that I wish this guy would have had. But anyways, um, you know, I decided to get like super aggressive with it. Not the right way to play this at all. I probably should have just called him to see a turn card, honestly, but I decided to just go over the top. Now, he's going to basically insta-call me with a set of queens, but we hit the flush on the river with the five dues. That was, like, the worst beat I've put on somebody in a really long time. And honestly, like, I felt a little bit bad, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, losing like that is rough, but, you know, I've been on the other end of it too, so... It just goes around, guys. I mean, it's poker. You're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Uh, but, I mean, that was just, like super disgusting like i said the best case scenario for me was that i was hoping he had like ace king i would have probably even taken like aces or kings because you know i could have still hit like two pair but i was really just drawing to hitting a flush and i got there and it was just like i mean that was just super luck like to the extreme now, I do have one other hand, like I said, um, we're going to break down where I got really lucky as well. It wasn't that crazy, but it was uh, it was still pretty lucky. Anyways, I was sitting on the uh, the ace, ace three here suited, but clearly this was going to be a fold. Yeah, I mean, flush draws out there, you know. All right, so player four played this hand really sneaky because I believe he had the flush the whole time. Yeah, I mean, he had the straight with the nut flush, so that was a pretty good hand for that guy for sure. All right, next hand I had a 7-9 suited. I love playing 7-9 suited. It doesn't really matter. You know, I, I always play it. If I'm in late position, I'll raise with it. I'll limp in hands with it. You know, I, I just, I do well with this, man. This is my Doyle Brunson right here. Not the 10 deuce, but the 7-9. It's done me really well over the years. All right, so I hit top pair. And, you know, a lot of the time when you hit uh, top pair with these type of hands, people will float you to the turn if they've got, like, king, queen. So, I mean, if you're going to bet, you got to bet pretty pretty decent i bet 12 bucks into it got him to fold it turn card would have been safe but you got to protect your hand especially with top pair um you know in in that situation i felt like it was the right play okay so the final hand here is going to be pocket fives 
And um, I got super lucky on this hand for sure. Okay, so I raise it up to six bucks, pretty standard. I do want to say, I feel lately when I'm raising with low pocket pairs, I always get re-raised. It's like, it's like they know what I've got. I don't know what it is. But anyways, I wasn't going to fold here. I mean, I could have. He raised it to $24. So he was basically saying he had aces, kings, or queens, right? Definitely not ace, king. I, I wouldn't really be feeling that. Um, it was a pretty uh, not so good board for me because if he's got a high pocket pair, you know, I'm really looking just to hit a five or run a runner hearts. Um, turn card, he kind of checked, so he got a little bit scared, which was good. So I think he was thinking to himself, like, you know, uh, is my hand good? Because he probably did have like a high pocket pair, like I said. I took a stab at it to see if I could get him off the hand, if maybe he had a couple high cards, which, you know, I didn't think he did, but it didn't really matter because we got there on the river hitting the five, which was our money card. Now, I didn't want to overbet the pot here. I wasn't trying to get greedy because I wanted him to call. So I felt 30 bucks was the right call, especially if he had a, you know, a high pocket pair that beat the board. You know, he was going to call this basically instantly, which he did. And it was a good hand. But anyways, guys, uh, back to the, uh, in the bottom line here. I got extremely lucky with that five deuce. It was disgusting. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed another session. Um, you know, if you could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more poker content. We'll see you in the next session.